this beautiful colorful basket. I'm so excited about all these. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacy Flowers and I am a student of Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University and on a journey to become 100% debt free. My current debt is over $183,000. I am on baby step number two to repay 100% of my debts. I earn an income of anywhere between $1,500 and $2,000 on average a month, working part-time and running my company quarter-time. In this video, I am going to be sharing with you my July 2018 grocery haul. So if you are interested in that, please keep watching. Let's take a look at what I have here in the cabinets. I've been starting a little bit of work on organizing my pantry. I got a gift card from Target and so I bought these, although I don't think that they're going to be large enough and I think I'm just gonna switch over to 100% mason jars, but I have a little bit of black beans, I have a little bit of quinoa, rice, this is the last amount of my oats. Um, I have angel hair pasta that I purchased, um, to make homemade ramen noodles. I still have my banana rings that I just have not eaten um, from my last grocery haul. And then I have a couple of broths. And so let's talk about the broth really quick because a lot of you guys suggested bouillon cubes. And when I first moved in, I went, I got beef and chicken. Yes, beef and chicken bouillon cubes. And I put it in my red beans and I put it in my black beans and it was absolutely delicious. However, what happened was is I, I found myself like every time I would eat like a bowl because you know I have it for like lunch and dinner so like I eat it a lot but every time I would eat it I would get overwhelmingly tired like even when I would eat it at work I'm like why am I so tired why am I so tired and I was like let me look at my ingredients and when I looked at the bouillon cubes there is um soy but I can't remember how I don't know if it's a soy oil or soy bean I'm not 100% for sure but I just my body doesn't have a good reaction to soy so I can't use bouillon cubes with soy in it and I haven't found a bouillon cube that doesn't have soy in it. So if you guys have a recommendation, I'm totally open to not using these to save money. But I think people, this is just something, people will say, oh, you can get that cheaper at this place. And you're right, but you have to ask yourself, why is it cheaper at other places? It's not always just cheaper at other places because one store you know branding and marketing and it's organic sometimes it's cheaper because they're using lower quality products in addition to the thing so like for example like seasonings like sometimes when you're purchasing seasonings you're not just purchasing that seasoning you're purchasing that seasoning with a blend of other things that are tasteless but like provide the bulk so that would be my recommendation it's just i understand that there are a thousand ways to make my grocery shopping even less expensive than what it is at $50 a month. But me making some of those decisions winds up being the wrong decision for me because there are products that I don't want to consume. And in me purchasing something cheaper, I'm unintentionally consuming those products. For example, the bouillon cubes where you can get like 10 versions of this box of broth, but in you getting those 10 versions, you're also getting a who humping of soy and if you don't eat soy you know that becomes a problem so i have chicken broth i have beef broth and then here i have some coconut bases and i um a little bit of popcorn some rice and cornmeal rice flour uh breadcrumbs baking soda our seasonings i'm doing pretty good with seasonings um i have smoked paprika i have a little thyme um ground cumin ground cinnamon pepper lemon pepper adobo this is i still have tons of that turmeric left um bay leaves and the sea salt from my auntie and then here in the cabinet sort of the same things the olive oil from may uh grapeseed oil and most of these things really aren't um going down because i haven't really been cooking and i haven't been cooking at home because it is really hot but also last month was my birthday month and i went out quite a lot so that's what I have in the cabinet. Let's take a look in the refrigerator. So, in the refrigerator, I have some celery, but this is going to be turned into vegetable stock because it's just, I left it in here too long. Um, these carrots may still be good, so I may peel those and turn those into some snacks. Um, some sweet peppers, which I'm super excited about. Did buy a little bit of kale. Um, I don't like the prepackaged kale. I'm gonna finish eating it, but I don't like the prepackaged kale. I have a container of red beans, a container of black beans, little coconut milk that's left over, and a water pitcher. 
Um, not particularly satisfied with that water pitcher, um, so I likely will switch that out. Little bit of banana peppers, have some red roasted peppers, a little bit of almond milk, and a little salad dressing that I'm running out of. This is a little bit of frozen kale that's from that bag just because I knew I wasn't gonna eat through it because I don't really like it very much, but I don't wanna waste it. I don't know if you can freeze kale and maintain its nutrients, but we shall see. Peas and a little bit of corn left. So there are quite a few things that I will be getting from the grocery store today. Um, and yeah, so there are quite a few things that we'll, I'll be getting from the grocery store. And I will also be getting um, some like mason jars to store things because I really want to switch over to uh, not using as much plastic since I'm in my own home. So let's go to the grocery store. So I had all the plans and all the plans were to go to three different stores and then out of nowhere I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but out of nowhere this rain came out of nowhere I Wanted to come back in. I've been in the car now for three minutes um, And you can see that things are a little darker One of the things that I am trying to figure out is how to cut all soy out I don't know if you guys can see that, but the second ingredient, second or first ingredient for most of all these mayo is soybean oil. And I don't respond very well to soy, so I'm going to try this, this one. This is the only one that I've found that doesn't have soy oil listed as an ingredient. So I'll let you guys know. This brand may actually be better. I found another one that doesn't have soy in it from Hims, um, but this has eggs in it and I prefer to not have eggs, they make me a little sluggish, but this one here, it specifically says no GMO and egg free. So I actually think we're going to go with this mayo, which I'm kind of stoked about that. Well, a little closer and right here, I don't know if you guys can see that, it says it may contain soy. And I'm thinking that that is because of where it's manufactured. You know how like sometimes things are manufactured near each other, which for me may contain soy is way better than soybean oil being the first ingredient. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. And this. To be the booty from Whole Foods, chickpeas, red pepper flakes, red beans, popcorn, oats, and black beans. I'm at the last store and I have my little bag with my cash envelopes out. These are my original cash envelopes from Dave Ramsey and I'm at the third store today and I have, you can see that in there, I have $25 left to get me some vegetables which primarily decorates my bases of oatmeal and beans every single day and quinoa. Um, this budget is $50, but I do think that I'm going to increase my grocery budget to $75. Right now, I'm just in the habit of shopping at $50, and until I get a little bit more comfortable with my kitchen, um, I don't want to waste. So you guys saw when I was looking through my um, kitchen that, and I mean, technically it won't go to waste, but I have carrots, I have celery, and a couple of peppers that went bad and I don't like that um, so I don't want that to happen and um, for that reason the other 25 if I do use it in this budget I'll just use it later on in the month if it comes up but if it doesn't then you know $50 it is so let's go see beautiful colorful basket I'm so excited about all these greens and my pineapple and my peaches so if you guys can see that on the ground there, this is what I got for my $50 grocery haul with the exception of the mason jars um, because those were part of my household pantry that I got um, because it's very hot. <laughs> and I came up all those stairs. Um, I got those so that I could make my to-go salads but also so that I could fill out my pantry. So I'm kind of super pumped about that. Um, it is much, much later in the day. You can't really tell because it's been raining and whatnot, but um, it is super hot. So I am going to first wash, I'm oh, sorry guys. I'm going to first, I feel like my, my face is falling off me. Okay, I'm gonna first wash my mason jars just so that though I can, as I'm preparing food, I literally have a place to be able to put the food in. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So 
This is July's summer's grocery haul. So I'll start down here. Um, I got my uh, thing of almond milk. Got a very large container of strawberries. This and this came from Walmart as well as this celery came from Walmart. Um, and it's funny that I have so much celery. I'm not really a celery fan, but it seasons things well. And I'm making a lot of like cold salads like cauliflower salad and pasta salad and stuff like that and it seasons it really well um i got a one bunch of spinach have a head of romaine lettuce i got two things of golden beet so this has two on it this has three on it got a pineapple i got three stalks of um or three heads of corn on the cob um yellow pepper orange pepper red pepper green pepper these red pepper flakes are from whole foods i have three yellow onions because i'm still eating onion rings but also seasoning two peaches a head of cauliflower some uh rotini noodles tricolor for my pasta salad mustard garlic um and this just mayo and again this is going to be for my pasta salad as well as for my cauliflower salad and then from whole foods i got red beans black beans red pepper flakes popcorn oatmeal and a little bit of gumbar gu chickpeas so now it's time to put all these goodies in. I'm just taking this celery that has died I'm washing it and I am just chopping it up a little bit and I'm putting it in here because I'm going to and I wish I would have got to it just a little sooner but what I'm gonna do is when I get ready to make my vegetable broth I'm gonna use these veggie scraps in the vegetable broth I put everything away. I'm gonna have me some little bread, a couple of strawberries, my pineapple will sit here, my peaches here, my corn on the cob here. We look in the fridge, we have my almond milk down here. But this is what the fridge looks like. The kale snacks are there. This here is spinach, it's just strawberry, um, and then that's lettuce back there, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And then we go to the freezer. Oh, there was something I forgot to show you guys. I had sweet potatoes down here. I keep forgetting that I have sweet potatoes down there. So just so you know, I have sweet potatoes. And then we have what the pantry looks like here. Um, for the most part, everything up here is the same. I just move things up. Um, that's the red beans that I got from Whole Foods. This behind here are leftover black beans and some new my onions are here, it's a little piece of garlic, oats, popcorn, etc. So this is where we are right okay. now. Amazing, super fantastic, spectacular people. That is my July 2018. These are so sweet. Grocery haul. It was a very difficult one to film, but I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I've been able to find my mason jars. I'm so excited about this bread. So good. Mm, 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 mm. So, that is all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.